I am really pumped about this next segment. Now, you know the hot food trend around the country is Nashville hot chicken. In fact, Nashville Hot Chicken Week, yeah, there really is such a thing, it is officially just happened. So here now to show us how to make the blazing bird at home, please welcome the owner and chef of Red 615 Kitchen in Nashville, Tennessee, Eric Red White. Eric, good to have you here. Good to be here. Good See, I love the name, Red White. I know, it's a good one. <laughs> the last name is White, the hair is red, I yes. get it. So, okay, I'm pretty pumped about this. So let's get into how to make hot chicken from Nashville. All right, so the first step that you have to have is your chicken, obviously, and mm -hmm. you need to brine your chicken. If you don't brine your chicken, not doing it right. So how so, long do you brine it? We actually brine ours for at least one whole day. And that's just putting it in salt water? This is a salt, hot sauce, and a buttermilk. Ah. Yep, and then you mix it up and we brine it for about 24 hours. Aha. Uh -huh. Take it out the brine, do it in your flour. We will serve no brine before it's time. Oh, no. That's his motto. Oh no. They don't even know what I'm talking about, do they? So you, you're going to want to bread your chicken up. And we bread ours a little bit uh, differently than some spots around town who do the uh, flour, wash egg, and back in the flour. Yeah. But we just go straight from our brine uh -huh. into the breading, and then we let it sit in the breading for at least you 45 minutes. Flour that minutes. surface yep. real good, don't you? And, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and the breading is just salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic powder. And once these sit for about 45 minutes, I've got some in here that have already been sitting for a bit. Mm -hmm. Drop them down into your fryer. Got that all good and hot. What temperature oh, yeah. is the grease? So we fry ours at about 325. 325, you, Yeah, okay. you don't want to fry it too hot or else it'll get now, all. Do you use peanut oil or what? Uh, we use a blend, um, so with the uh, supply chain stuff uh -huh. that's yeah. going on, we have to kind Motor of... Motor oil now. Yes, yeah, yes. Of course. On some days, you, you got to do what you got to do. But we mostly use uh, soybean oil. Okay. And cook right. ours. So you let that go for about uh, seven to eight minutes at about 325. And while that's cooking, you move on to make the star of the dish, the spice mix. All right. Beautiful, beautiful spice mix. Okay. So what we have is just your basic little setup. Okay. Salt. Salt. That looks like kosher salt. It is. Okay. A little bit of black pepper, nice and ground up. Mm -hmm. But no, I'm just kidding. Smoked paprika. Smoked paprika. That's one of the paprika. secrets. Smoked paprika. Dang. Get that regular mm. stuff out of here. That's boring. We don't want that. There you go. We use some dark chili powder. Uh huh. That'll set you free. A little bit of granulated garlic. Oh yeah. There you go. And of course, a big heaping helping of cayenne. That is a big, that big is. helping of and cayenne. And we are making our medium, so this isn't even That's hot. medium. Yeah. Whoa, be a five alarm fire right. if you put the hot, that's dark. a lot of cayenne. It, that's what makes it good. Okay, all right. And I, I, we okay. use dark brown sugar. Now that's a bit of a toss up okay. in Nashville hot chicken, because some places say, no, you shouldn't use any uh, sweetness huh. or brown sugar, but we like the sweet heat. So we like to focus on the f on the flavor first, mm -hmm. and then the spice. So this just is a little just regular brown sugar. Yep, dark brown sugar that doesn't want to seem to come out of the bin. You got twice as much cayenne as brown yes. sugar there. And even in our medium, I kept this sealed, and so nobody would die. Okay. Ghost pepper powder. Ghost pepper. So just just a little dash of that ghost. That's powder. a lot of ghost pepper too. Oh come on! Hey you Red, I've it. had some ghost pepper. Yeah. And it'll turn you ever which way but loose. I'm telling you. That means you it's now. working. That means it's working. Okay. All right. So the next step is to add your hot oil. So what okay. you can do is you can add the oil from your deep fryer. Uh huh. But you want to cool it off first because if your oil is too hot, it will burn the sugar and burn your spices. Hmm. But you want to have it over one uh, one fifty five. Yeah. Because that will help bloom those spices and get the smells so and the flavors out okay. a little bit more. So not right. too hot, but so then. Here we go. I'm just gonna dump that. Hot oil. Into there. there. And if you wanna take this whisk and stir up that Certainly. little spice mix and get that going. Oh yeah. I can't wait. Oh, we shake I may have to uh, go to the emergency room and not finish the show. Oh, yeah. That's mm -hmm. possible. Now you, in your very first year of operation, were named the number one hot chicken in Nashville. Is that correct? At the uh... so our first year, what we started out with a food truck, and our, okay. our, our our first year we won best food truck in the state by the Food Network. That's pretty yeah. awesome. 
Um, but last year during Hot Ch Chicken Week, like you were speaking of earlier, uh -huh. our dish did win the best dish in all of Nashville. Best so. dish in, and that's, yep. that's impressive because hey, there's a lot of stuff going Thank on you. in this town. Thank you, guys. That's big deal. Yeah, uh, it meant a lot to us. So, so if people come to Nashville, they got to find you. Yeah. And you've got kind of a, I, I guess you'd call it a hole in a wall kind of place. We are actually just a hole in the wall. We're inside of a little uh, chicken coop. We are in the same building as, as the oldest bar in the state, Springwater yeah. Bar, uh -huh. built in 1886. Wow. So. Yeah, um, Keith remembers when that was built, don't you, yeah, Keith? I was there. I was there. <laughs> yeah, I thought yeah. so. Okay. There you go. He does. Right Mixer there. or something like that. We'll drink it later. Yeah, yeah. And then you take your brush okay. here, and if you want to brush it on the plate or in the pan, it's entirely up to, okay. to you. Now, you want me to brush this chicken? Yes, so let's just put this in the pan All so right. we don't get the mess over the pretty, there pretty we go. plate. And you will always serve Nashville hot chicken, is it traditionally served on top of white bread? and a topping of some pickles, mm -hmm. dill pickles. Now, how much of this do I want to put on there? You want to make that look blood red. Really? <laughs> you want that deep You really dark. want to put some hurt on yes. this, don't you? Mm-hmm. I can see. I think I'm going to love this. It's, I really do. I think you will. But, whoa, I saw how much cayenne pepper and ghost pepper and all that stuff was in yeah. here, and I'm thinking, okay. If it doesn't hurt, then you're not doing it right. Yeah, so, I'm not doing it that's right? That's our rules. Hmm. All right, now I'm going to kind of let you mean show this. Yeah, Is that right? You see that right there? That looks hot, doesn't it? That Is it time sauce? to eat? It is. So, like I said, you're going to just put it on top of the white bread here. Mm -hmm. And what the white bread does is it helps to soak up that uh, nice spicy oil. You talk, I'm going to eat. How's Absolutely. That? But before you do, you oh. got to got to got to bam. I can't eat Garnish all of that. I got to kind of Figure this out. I think I? you can figure it out. Okay. Oh, let me get this plate. There we go. All right. Get some pickles on there. Nice knowing you, Gov. Good luck to you, sir. <laughs> you got a funeral march you could play there? Mm. How's that spice treating you? No, this is great. Okay. I'm just playing with the audience. <laughs> I love this stuff. Awesome. Keith, can you finish the show? I'm going to eat chicken. Yeah, no problem. Mm. And uh, for the people at home, we do uh, sell our spice mix on our website. So if you're feeling kind of lazy and don't want to cook at home, you can always go and buy a nice big bottle of this. That sounds on great. Our and we I do our I'll... mild, medium, and hot. I will be ordering them. I don't yeah. know if I'll get the real hot one. This is good. Though. Oh, we can do it. Hey, if you want to taste the world's best Nashville hot chicken, visit Red 615 Kitchen. And if you're not in Nashville, spice up your own chicken at home. Go to Huckabee.tv for Chef Eric's hot chicken recipe and light up your lips. That's what I'm doing. <laughs>